All right, this video is for Susie. Uh, and it's called Seven Reasons Why You Should Marry Your High School Sweetheart. Let's go. All right, reason number one. So you started dating during the most awkward phases of your life. Um, you fell in love um, in a time where you did random things the, from the things you kind of experimented with to the way you looked what you wore you know the random outfits you wore the, me myself i dyed my hair like all these different colors and if you're still attracted to each other after all that random stuff then you're pretty much set for life all right reason number number two why you should marry your high school sweetheart you've uh, seen each other graduate from high school um, gone to college, dropped out from college, gone back to college maybe, some of you guys. Me personally, I dropped out, Susie dropped out too, but then we both both kind of went back at different times and we both graduated from college. And slowly like kind of we matured together and we kind of admire the fact that we've been able to um, just kind of like have some type of uh, goal setting and accomplishing those goals together as a team you know that itself is just something that's amazing and you can't really replace that so that's reason number two number three reason number three think about it like we've spent the majority of our complete adulthood together the way it's allowed us to communicate to each other is at a different level we don't use we don't necessarily have to use language to communicate to each other um, we know what we're going through whether we say it out loud or not and that's something that you cannot replace it's kind of like having like an extra brother or like that extra best friend you know that that bond that you guys have that you guys know what you're going through even though you don't have to like say it out loud you know it's a new level of communication so reason number three there you go reason number four i think when you're at your lowest you always need somebody next to you or it always helps to have somebody next to you so having that person with you going through those you know those parts of your life where you have no idea what you're going to do with your life or you're still trying to answer those questions about life having that person next to you is major key all right number five just being able to reminisce and share new memories build new memories and look at other like older memories makes this bond priceless all right reason number six you automatically like have an extra family just the fact that you've known each other for so long since you guys were kind of kids now you have an extra set of parents extra set of brothers and sisters and your family and her family just become like one huge family and you're able to communicate and rely on other people and have other people to support you i don't know it just makes it for more um just you know, more is better, I guess, when it comes to family. And number seven, which I think is probably the most important. They've been with you since the beginning, through the lows, through the highs, through the, through everything. So you have no trouble in trusting that they'll be with you for, for the rest of your life. And that's probably the most beautiful thing about marrying your high school sweetheart. Susie just turned 33, right? And I wanted to do this video for her birthday because I kind of felt like, wow, it's like, it's kind of like a new era in terms of uh, how old, <laughs> how old we've uh, we are. Even though you know a lot of you guys might that be that might be watching this, you know, think we're young. I think we're young still, but it's still a different era. You know, we've we've, we've gone through our 20s. We're about to hit our mid 30s and uh, we're still together and we're still happily together and we're still trying to accomplish our goals we're try still trying to fight every day there's still a lot of things that we want to do um, our family has grown a lot uh, hasn't hasn't grown in a while because we stopped at four and um, you know it's just it's just amazing to look back and say wow we've we've probably defied the odds and uh, thank you, Susie. Thank you for always having my back. 
I love you so much. You are me and I am you. I love you. Wait, did I just say I love me because I said I love you? Well, whatever. Ooh, I've been wanting a Pandora bracelet. You're sweet, right? The, big, the apples stands for a big apple. But that one is sweet. And the tree for family? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and for all of this us. One? The sweet. family sweet. tree. I got sweet. you this one. I bought it with my own money. Wait, let me see. Like, I bought everything.